What's up guys, Shane from Fugitec 3D Printing and today I'm going to give you my, just my quick first impressions on the Prusa i3 Mark III MMU2 upgrade. Welcome back guys. So if you follow my channel, hopefully you got to watch me on the live stream when I built the MMU2, this is the multi-material upgrade for the Prusa i3 Mark III. And it, it was a great build. And overall it went really good. There's a few little nicks here and there, little hiccups, but we got through them and it got printing. So I'd post on my Instagram and actually the very first print worked out. So this actually is the uh, planetary gear, I think is what it's called, and it's the six. There are six gears in there. So I just did each one, uh, alternate different colors, then I did the center and the outer gear as black. I mean, the quality is there. It's doggone near perfect. Uh, top surface was a little bit not quite there, but bottom was good. There's one little area that I had to just nick through and then it just started to spin and it worked out great. Now, even though this worked, it took quite a long time to print because this kept jamming. And it required me to do some manual intervention of pulling the film out, like unloading it, and then loading it back in, and then telling it to initialize again. And then once I told it initialize, then I helped it go to the next step there. So it did take a little bit of fiddling over a course of, I think this was an eight hour print or 10 hour print and it took like 16 hours just because of me having to fiddle with it. And I wasn't sitting here the entire time this was printing, but it was, I mean, it got a quite a bit of ways before I started having issues. Okay, so I thought well, maybe that was a fluke of yay it worked or no it didn't work, we'll see. So I went ahead and tried printing out the dual color uh, Moai statue, which is an awesome colored like print, like just the way it, it just looks awesome. I've seen Joel print it, and this is the first one. This itty little bit, it uh, jammed up on me, you know. And I was only doing two color changes. This was the three colors, so I'm only doing two of them. It should have been a little bit easier. Didn't work out at all. So then I tried again, and I did have it complete, but. It had under extruded a few layers and I actually was just kind of messing with it. This just kind of popped uh, apart and it, it went a little bit further than the first one did, but overall it did complete and it looks okay. I, w I mean, I was in my mind, I thought I was going to be absolutely mind blown at how well, how good this would look. And I could say it's, it's good. I mean, it's really cool. You can do five colors with this thing. But I don't know, I just wasn't blown away by the quality and it was just really weird. I've only done these, these few prints so far because it's been a few days since I did the install and I, I don't have time to do it all day every day. So it was just kind of interesting just to see what the issues were. And now, as soon as I finally get this, just a few little while ago, Prusa went ahead and put out his MMU2S and MK3S upgrades. Great, right after I start working on this thing, he puts out an update. So I am gonna wait for, apparently I'm gonna be getting a coupon or something, and then I'll go ahead and order in the upgrade parts for the extruder and for this, which it comes free if you already own it. If you own the MMU2S, you're gonna get the MK3S upgrade for free, and you're gonna get the upgrade parts for the MMU2S for free. So that's pretty cool. The only thing you have to do is print your own uh, parts, which is fine because I have the orange PETG and I just got in some Ziltec black PETG, which I'm going to be printing with that shortly in order to get the, all the black parts printed for the extruder. And again, the orange accent parts I can print in Prusa's color. All right, now let's talk purge blocks real quick. So these are quite heavy and I will go steal my wife's uh, kitchen scale here in a minute and I'll go ahead and weigh these. Uh, I did have lifting on, was it both of them or no, just this one. So this was the uh, three color change for the planetary gears. It is significantly heavier than what the gears are. And I didn't do, like this is honestly stock settings. I changed very little. Uh, this was the stock size for it. I didn't change it. I think it was like uh, 60 millimeters 
was the default. I just left it at that, it was 60 by 20 or 60 by 30, something like that. I left it all default there, didn't want to mess with it. But I didn't, I could have done like wipe to infill, so part of it could have went into the infill, which would have made the purge block smaller by a little bit, but you have to kind of play with it. And then once you see how much it actually does take to purge, you can then go back and adjust your settings more and more and more. So you have to do quite a lot of these in order to figure out what's the perfect amount for your setup to have this minimal amount of purge block, which makes this lighter, which makes less waste of material. But this definitely, I definitely use more than twice the amount of material to print this together because this was more than what the planetary gear was. Now for the Moai that finished, uh, this again, it is even more so heavy because this one I did alter a little bit. I did make it quite a bit smaller. So it ended up being probably about two thirds as wide or as, yeah, as deep, I should say. And it was just maybe about 10 millimeters shorter. I made it just a little bit. I wanted to see how it would work out. It did work out well. I definitely think that could improve more. I could reduce this even more so. But it weighs at least probably three times. And again, I'll superimpose some uh, actual weights here. But this is super duper heavy in comparison to this. And this one did not curl up, but this one did have some significant curl. So I probably just need to get a little better about make sure I clean the entire bed, especially the part where the purge block is going to be sitting. And you also could move the purge block to be closer, that way you have less movement because the default is in the back right corner when you're looking at the front of your printer. Back right corner is where it goes to by default, but again, you can change it anywhere on your bed that you want to. So something that I did do here is I did print out some of these uh, clips. Now these are just basically combs for the PTFE tubing because there's quite a lot of PTFE tubing here as you can see. I have four in here so far and I have four more here on the print bed. I have to flex that to get them off. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to install this on this shelf. Can you see this? Yeah, a little bit. It's going to go on this shelf and the rep box is going to go up top and I'll find it. I need to find a new place for the CR10. Uh, for the CR10. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, but we'll figure that out. And I'm actually going to loop it up like this. So here's going to be all the cables will come up like this to the front of my wire rack because they're all the same length, so we'll get them all to be there the same. And then I will design, I might actually incorporate some of this clamp, but I'm just gonna design something to mount to my metal shelves and just be push fittings on each side. So from the bottom, I can just do push fittings, push these into those, and then I will do push fittings from the top, and that will be feeding down from the rep box into there. I think that'll be the cleanest and easiest way that I can make this setup work for me. So it's going to take a little bit of experimenting and that's probably going to work on here over the next maybe week or two because it'll probably be several weeks before I get the upgrade parts for this, but I'll at least have the new parts printed and ready to go. But I kind of want to get my setup. And once I do have that setup and I do get it working, I definitely will share it with all of you guys. If you do have these metal shelves, I'll share the files. Uh, or if it just gives you an idea on what to do. If, so if you look up like MMU2 on Thingiverse, there are dozens of different solutions people have come up with on how to either mount this somewhere else, how to do the spool somewhere else. There's a lot of different things. And also with Prusa's MMU2S uh, upgrades, there's a different way to do buffering. I had zero issues with having these come out and sit here on my desk and the short, you know, six inch, eight inch tubes come off of the rep box and they just kind of spooled up right here. It would spool up and they would suck it in and spool up, suck it in. It worked with three colors intermingled with each other. I had no trouble whatsoever with them, you know, tangling with each other. So I don't know. People say you can go ahead and buffer directly into the um, rep box. I just, I haven't tried that yet. So it might be something that I do try. I might not have to do, might get rid of a buffer area when I do end up mounting it over here. We'll see how that ends up going. But again, I just kind of wanted to share like quickly my experiences that this is super duper cool, but there's a lot of tuning that really goes into this. And I'm really understanding that now talking to more people on Twitter and whatnot. And I think this first one was a little bit of luck to get it going, but I did have to, to intervene quite a bit in order to 
get it to actually finish the part because it kept saying, oh, waiting for user action and clear it out, do that, let's start again. It would do sometimes one layer, do it again, then it would do, then it would go for like two hours and then it happened again. So I was very pleased in the morning uh, when I did this, when I woke up and I saw this is a completed part. It made me very happy. So this is a super cool thing but I'm definitely ready for some updates from Prusa in order to make this to be even better. I think it'll be, I think it'll be really good then. So I can't wait for those updates. So again, this one is to be kind of a quick kind of dialogue on how this was working out for me and what my future plans are for it. Uh, I've got lots of filament that I'm gonna start loading into this thing. I'm um, trying to get some more colors, hopefully from US Monofilaments. This printed really, really good for US Monofilaments. I really did like it, so. Hopefully I can get some more colors from them and do some more projects and a bunch of other filaments here that I can use. I do have some hips laying around so I can start doing some support material with that. So there's a lot in store, but I think we're gonna take a little bit break from it now. Wait for the Mark for the MK23S and the MMU2S parts to come to me. Get those installed, I'll live stream that. And then we'll get back to doing some pretty awesome multi-material prints. And oh, just to note, uh, doing one color in this is never had a problem. It loaded every time uh, because he, with these black parts, and I had done another part somewhere, I can't remember what I did with it now, but I just selected the different extruder, you know, one through five for the different colors and it pulled it in, printed the part, that was it. I mean, so you definitely can use this as a single color as well. So I don't, anyone should worry about that. Once you install this, it still works the same. It's still direct drive. So either way, just again, update for you guys. I'm rambling on here at this point. So thanks for tuning in guys. You know what to do. Subscribe if you want to stay tuned for what happens with this. If you want to make sure you get notified of my live streams when I'm going to do the upgrades for all of this stuff, hit that bell icon. You'll get an email notification whenever all that stuff kicks off. So ways you can support me, become a patron. That helps bought, almost all of this was bought through Patreon money. So I thank my patrons so much for helping me out on the channel. This gives me the opportunity to do some really cool stuff here that otherwise I would not be able to do. So my patrons, you guys are awesome. Other ways, there's one-time donation links there's a ton of fill links and you guys using those ones i thank you so much that ziltech link has got so much love lately i truly appreciate it. it's 15 percent off ziltech filament so thank you guys for doing that and that's it so stay tuned i'll see you guys next time happy printing